Greetings on this fine and sunny day for change. Although they tell me the weather's not going to improve that much and it's still going to be cold in April. Well folks, exciting news. Yes, you've heard it first. Or oh, well, no, not first, probably third or fourth hand by now, I would imagine. But yesterday on BBC Radio 4, Ian Duncan Smith, and for those of you who do not know who he is, he is the Work and Pension Secretary, the person responsible for the new welfare cuts on things like housing, the bedroom tax, um, reduction on um, job seekers allowance etc admittedly he didn't implement them all, all his predecessor Chris Grayling started the ball rolling on that one but at any rate I digress I digress yesterday on BBC Radio 4 Ian Duncan Smith was taking a call from a caller who was complaining about only having £54 a week to live on. And amazingly, Ian Duncan Smith said, I can easily live on £54 a week. Now, I think that works out to be something like just over £7 a day. Um, so, a petition was started yesterday online, and I will put the link in below demanding that Ian Duncan Smith put proof to where his words came from and actually agrees to live on £54 a week, losing all of his millions of pounds in, in the bank account for that week, living in probably, you know, a, 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 a less than palatial house that he's normally used to living in, etc. Now, you know, and I know, and everyone else knows, that it's bloody hard to live on £54 a week. Especially if in that week, your gas and electric bill comes in, and if you pay monthly, by, like most people do, um, then in that, that one payment of your gas and electric, you could lose between £50 and £90, depending which company you're with. So straight away that would blow out of the water his £54 a week. Now also, you know, he would have to buy his food with that, pay to go to job interviews, etc. Because trust me on this, I've been going to a lot of job interviews just recently and I've never received as much as a travel warrant from the job centre. Every time I've asked for help, all I'm ever told is, oh, I'm sorry, we don't do that anymore. It's only in extreme circumstances that we'll help you to get to a job interview. Well, if you're unemployed and you're living on benefits, hello, that is an extreme circumstance, surely. But again, I digress. <clears throat> so now, the question is, will Mr Duncan Smith be able to do this? I don't think he can, unless he has his family sneak food into him. Um, because, you know, if he's got to pay for his transport, got to pay for public transport, um, food, his bills, mobile phone bill, etc., and his top-up of the, the rent, especially if he happens to be in a two-bedroom flat, l woe betide him if he should end up in a two-bedroom flat, because that would mean he'd be losing £14 straight away from his benefits to pay for it. Now, of course, he may not have a choice of which flat he's given, and if he asks for a one-bedroom flat, there may not be a one-bedroom flat available. So, anyone watching this, I would urge you, please, 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 Sign the petition below. If you sign no petition in your life, do that petition. It was put up last night at about 10 o'clock. And within an hour, it had um, 80,000 signatures. An hour later, it was over 108,000 signatures. 
I dread to think what it is now. So obviously, there's in individual people out there that think he can't do it, and they want to see him do it. Now remember, it has been done before. Uh, Michael Portello who did it years ago. But remember, the rate at which JSA is established dates back to the early 70s. Um, that's when it was formulated, the, the, the tariff of what, what the law says we can live on, etc. Now, um, I would be interested to see if Mr Duncan Smith actually does do this. I don't think he, he will. I don't think he has the courage to do it, and I don't think he he cares what people live on, to be quite frank. You you can tell that in his bullish attitude of how high will, you know, push on with these reforms regardless. So, you know, and, and a lot of you out there, it doesn't affect me because I've only got a one bedroom flat, thank heavens. But a lot of you out there are going to start feeling the pinch from this week onwards. Now, I, I have full sympathy for you because I had no choice where I ended up living. I was given this flat and I'm grateful for it. Um, but if I'd been given a two bedroom flat, Lord Almighty, I'd be, I'd be going absolutely mental now thinking that, that even though it wasn't my choice, um, I would have to be paying out £14 a week extra because someone else decided this is where I was going to live. And a lot of you out there must be feeling exactly the same thing. So I have every sympathy for you, um, which is why I think it's really important that you should sign this petition and see if we can <coughs> bully him like he's bullied us into doing something that we know he will not be able to do and maybe just maybe him doing this will open his eyes slightly but as I say I don't think he's got the courage to do it I think he's all mouth like most politicians um, you know what they say you can never meet an honest politician but still we'll see what happens so you know keep watching the news and let's see if he does it but I doubt it take care now look after yourselves Bye.